we really enjoyed some snorkeling in the fjords the other day. And if you look closely at the water, you can see that brown layer that we also saw when we were snorkeling. And it meant that, Maria, we didn't actually see a lot of species in the top layer where we were snorkeling. You had to dive a lot deeper. So there's distinct layers, isn't there? Yeah, and that's what really makes this place special. And um, <laughs> the rain that we currently have is responsible for that brown layer right there. And it links in the forest that surrounds us with the water that we're standing in. So what happens when it rains, it goes through the forest and it runs off the trees and picks up tannins. And those tannins, tann tannin stained water, that turns that water brown. It's kind of like a forest acting like a tea bag, really. Um, and that brown layer, because it's fresh water, it's rain, it's actually lighter or less dense than right. salt water. So it floats on top of the salt water quite happily, causing a bit of a film. And because it's stained, it in turn acts like a pair of sunglasses. It actually filters out a lot of the light that would normally penetrate. So suddenly you have a lot less algae growth down there. And this is a special part. It means that deep sea creatures can grow a lot shallower than they normally would. So uh, things like black corals and red corals, you normally have to dive to 70 meters and beyond. So really, really far down, you can suddenly snorkel with in only five meters because they don't get clogged up by all these algae. And that creates a really amazing environment. And the, the fields are so deep as well, aren't they? Yeah, well, that's the other part of that story. Um, because rain and um, tannins leaching out of the forest happens everywhere in the world. Um, but this place here is carved by glaciers. Oh, yeah, so you got really steep sides and flat bottoms and really still environments as well. So that freshwater layer on the top doesn't mix as readily with the salt water as it does out in the ocean. So it generally sits at about three to four meters deep in here, but always tries to flow out to the ocean. So if you don't have rain for a little while, you don't have that freshwater layer. So it really depends on being in a rainforest. Right, and I guess the, the climate has a, a lot to say in the matter and it's going to be interesting to see how climate change affects this place. And it makes me wonder what people can do to try and care for this environment. Well, we play a big part in it because what we're standing in and what's in there also um, needs to be kept clean so not putting rubbish in it is a big thing. Um, and also what we take out of it when you go fishing for instance, just having stuff for your fishing for the table, having enough fish for dinner. Um, so you leave what is there to keep reproducing, much like the birds in the forest, keeping their population healthy. Um, and also making sure that we don't introduce other things that don't belong. So, like we make sure we don't bring seeds to these islands. Um, we don't want to bring invasive species and things on our boats or carry things like didymo from river to river or things like anderia invasive seaweeds and other species. So it takes a bit of looking after and it comes down to us too. Mm. Everyone can do their bit. Yeah, and that's why we went through that quarantine process before we jumped on board the helicopter to come into this environment. And you've been involved in cleanups around here as well, haven't you? Yes, it's all part of the picture because we come into a little pristine base like this and one of the bases is actually in Anchor Island where we're just about to go to. Um, and you've got this beautiful pest-free island home to Kākāpō and there's rubbish in the bay that you can see from the surface. So um, we had people come in free dive for all that rubbish and pulled about three to four tonne out of just one wow. little bay. Well, hey, keep up the fantastic work because this is an amazing environment and I for sure feel privileged to be in it. Hey, thanks, Maria. My pleasure. It's awesome having you.